Hey guys, Techman here with a video for you guys with another exciting unboxing video for the very first time in 2022. We're going to be unboxing the new packaging iPhone 11. This is the one that you guys requested to do. We did previously the original model. We did a couple unboxing of that, but this time we're going to be unboxing the black color. That's the new packaging that you get from Apple and I'm going to show you why the packaging has changed and also explain to you some details that you might want to know. This is the model Apple still sells and you can get it on their website. So let's talk about uh, the iPhone 11 unboxing here a little bit. So when you get the box, you notice it's really slimmed down and then at the top you read a couple things here around what's going to be included. You got the iPhone 11 and then the USB-C lightning cable and but however there is no power or the headphones as they are sold separately compared to the original model if you remember was this bigger box where you had included the ear pods with the lightning connector and then you also have that USB-C power adapter so that's why previously the box were bigger so almost twice as the size to include all of that so but then again the previous model starting price for that one was $6.99 on Apple website. With the release of iPhone 13, the price of the 11 dropped to the regular 11. 64 gig model, which we have here right now, cost around $4.99. And then you have the 128 gig, which is the other storage size you can get. That one's $5.49. Of course, there's taxes as well. So kind of makes sense why, you know, they started to take things out, but made it a little bit che cheaper. So let's go ahead and get this unboxing one. Also, if you guys want to check out the links in the description section that we'll leave for you guys to check out for cheaper phones, if you don't want to buy directly from Apple, usually Apple prices, they're never on a discount or they never give any sort of discount it is what it is but if you go on the links which is going to link you to Amazon eBay you can actually score this phone much cheaper and if you prefer that that's going to be something you want to take a look at so here as you can see here the box the premium finish this is the black color we mentioned you can also get it in yellow you can get it in purple green you can also get it on white as we have see right here and then product red as well so multiple colors with this one so it's a colorful phone so here, as you see here, that's the phone right there. And then you have the plastic here. And let's take a look at the box. As we mentioned, the only thing you're getting is that USB-C cable. That's about it. And this cable, you have to hook it up with the 18 or 20 watt bolt. You can use the previous 5 gig watt any longer. And then also in the box are going to be your little pamphlet and then SIM ejector to Apple sticker logo and all of that basic stuff that you usually get and then of course the actual sticker here as you can see the plastic on top and the phone itself it's a 6.1 inch display phone so it's a big phone we're going to go ahead and power it on right now and by pressing this button here as it powers on we're going to go ahead take that plastic off right there and as you can see here, it's powering on. The iPhone 11 was released, if you remember, in September of 2019. So right now, it's been over two years and a couple months, but still one of the popular devices. A lot of people are still using it. The 11 itself, it's not the Pro model, which is the premium $1,000 one. Remember, this one's almost half the price than paying the Pro one, and it gets pretty much all the features you get out of it probably the one missing thing on the 11 would be the 5g probably if there was a 5g capability the 11 would be still a perfect phone for you to get so here we're just going to go ahead and set it up with our demo wi-fi here because we want to be able to get to the main screen so we put our password here and it's a simple setup again we have did done this for you guys many times in setting up a phone that's pretty straightforward to do and it's going to be just going through the steps till we get to the main screen but again this phone the one thing probably different from the 13 is kind of that top notch and uh, that's probably it and then the 5g of course and a couple minor things but the 5 the 11 is still a great device in a lot of ways as you know it does have the a13 bionic chip it uh, does have 
4 gigs of internal RAM, so if you're looking to multitask, get the job done. Even for uh, gra high graphic gaming, it does do a really good job. The one thing that I really like about the 11 when it came out was that bigger size battery. So it has a, that 3110mAh battery, which was really exciting because you get a lot of battery life compared to the previous generation of phones. And that seems to be standard with most phones nowadays having almost... 3000 mAh or higher. So here, all we did was simply go through the simple setup process. We didn't enter Apple ID or anything like that. Of course, when you're setting it up, you want to put in your Apple ID if you have an existing one, or you can create one for free so you can download apps, do all of the other stuff that you need to, and much more things with it. As you can see here, we're all set up and ready to go, and we can start making calls and doing whatever we need to. Keep in mind that when you do set the phone up, uh, if you get a SIM free one, which is probably the best one you want to get because that's unlocked, so you can use any carrier. Or if you got it through a carrier, you're going to be uh, locked to that carrier. So, here, as you see here right now on the phone, the newer model, because iOS 15 is out, you'll notice that it's updated to iOS 15. So, if you're thinking that you're going to get the older iOS software, that's not the case. The newer models are already pre installed with iOS 15, which is what the iPhone, if you remember, 13 lineup comes pre-installed with it. So although this phone is two years old, so it was released on iOS 13, it is now updated to iOS 15. If you have one, you can only update it to iOS 15 here. That 6.1 inch display, again, beautiful display all around. The cameras here, they're amazing camera, although they're not triple camera like the Pro model. This, the camera still is excellent camera both for front and back here as you notice here so the 11 it's sort of the not the premium model but it's sort of uh stole a great device because a lot of the capability that it has like being able to record in 4k 60 frames per second we mentioned that a13 bionic chip which is powerful and that additional battery life that you get on it so right now as you know if you want to go grab it, you can grab it directly from Apple, or you can we use a link in the description section that we'll provide for you guys so you guys can get discounted on this device here. So we want to hear from you guys. If you guys use the 11 or if you're thinking of buying the 11, how it has been for you, leave a comment in the comment section. Also comment what phone we should be unboxing next in this year of 2022 as you know last week we did a lot of unboxing and we want to do a lot more unboxing this year for you guys so make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe but also we started a second channel if you guys want to check that out where we have more unboxing there and some exclusive content that we'll be releasing there as well so thanks for watching guys see you guys and next time